life imprisonment. Reporting for Channel Africa, this is James Shimanyula. Reporter by James Bring the time to 10 minutes after 1 o'clock. Still tuned in to Africa Midday. United Kingdom Miss Minister for Africa, Vicky Ford, is visiting Zambia as part of a regional tour which includes Tanzania and Malawi in a quest to strengthen relations of the three former British colonies. Her three day visit to Zambia is her first after assuming office and is seeing some partnership and collaborations enhanced in various sectors. Our correspondent, Arthur Davis Scopo, reports from Lusaka. Vicky Ford, the United Kingdom Minister for Africa that is in Zambia for a three-day visit, stamped her feet in reinvigorating and cementing ties and has key messages to deliver as she makes every move in the Southern African country. And one key note is that of fighting climate change. The first seven investments through this fund are, are really exciting. They're drawing on Zambia's huge natural resources. They include pioneering solar and geothermal projects, a hydrophonics farm, and a honey production exercise. All of that will help to mitigate climate change, promote a stronger and greener economy, and create jobs with a focus on rural areas. I'm also delighted to announce another four million pounds of investment in Zambia in African Green Co through Infococo Africa. It will support the groundbreaking trading company Africa Green Co to become the first private sector buyer and trader of clean energy in Zambia and in Southern Africa. Arriving at Lusaka late in the afternoon, she straight went to launch the British Investment International or BII as it changes its name from Colonial Development Corporation, or CDC, and was pleased to state that the launch of the name change of an entity that was set up in 1948 under the Overseas Resources Development Act was being done in Zambia. BII is a new British development finance institution that will invest billions of pounds in infrastructure and technology among others in low and middle income countries across Africa, Asia and the Caribbean. For Zambia, BII's early investment as CDC is visible from the 1949 constructed Chilanga cement plant that provided most of the cement used in constructing Kariba Dam that borders with Zimbabwe. And BII Chief Executive Officer Nick O'Donnell in an interview with the SABC's Channel Africa, says his entity's contribution to the fight against climate change in the region will be made so prominent. There will have to be a significant impact. Countries like, like Zambia, I think, can benefit because we'll be able to uh, help them develop more renewable sources of power. And then in other countries in the Southern Africa region, particularly in South Africa, there's a huge transition to make from coal-fired power into renewable power. And so I think you would expect to see uh, an organization like BII playing a role in that also, in financing that. Vicky Ford, the Minister for Africa, Latin America and the Caribbean, also spoke passionately about projects which support Zambia and Africa's efforts to tackle illegal wildlife trade. I'm getting a chance to see the baby elephants at the Laleyai Elephant Nursery. Prospero and the Zambian authorities are also working together to develop your national parks and protect wildlife, including those elephants. Zambia's Minister of Commerce, Chipoka Molenga, has asked the UK Minister for Africa to help resume British Airways flights and operations to and in Zambia that closed shop years ago due to what London said was of no much business value from the Southern African country. We have seen flights from Kinshasa in DRC into Brussels. Why can't we see British Airways start flying from London to Lusaka? We need to revive that. We're talking about British international investment. For us to enhance our investment, we need direct flights. We did it before, we can do it again. So, Honorable Minister, seriously consider that. Oh, yes. Previously, being Parliamentary Undersecretary of State for Children and Families at the Department of Education, Minister Vicky Ford is still passionate about removing and ending barriers preventing access to education for girls and women. We're united by many shared values and extensive people-to-people ties. The UK Minister for Africa is Wednesday in Chongwe, some rural part of Lusaka, 
pushing for improved access to nutrition and health services, further seeing what support her office can render. She is also said to meet representatives from the Zambia business community, mapping out business linkages, and fixed to catch Zambia's president, Haka Inde Hijilema, before her return. Reporting for the SABC's Channel Africa in Lusaka, Zambia, I am Arthur Davis, Skopo. That report by Arthur bring the time to 14 minutes after 1 o'clock. Now, meanwhile, the Zambian presidency says Zambia is willing to learn from and a partner with other countries in order to deliver the development needed to improve the lives of Zambians. The presidency says the state visit by Rwandan President Paul Kagame has opened a number of opportunities and lessons for Zambia. More from Hilda Akekelwa. President Kagame concluded.